I'm Judy Borthwick. I'm head teacher of Hackworth and Hornby Church of England Primary School. I've been head teacher for seven years now. Every day is different. I'm privileged to work in one of the most beautiful parts of North Yorkshire and uh, North Yorkshire is one of the most beautiful counties in the country. We have excellent facilities I think for a, for a small school and we seek, we seek to give the children a, um, a very similar experience in the classroom to the one that they would get in a larger school and in fact um, on many occasions I think we can improve on that. We do have a family atmosphere, um, we know all the children individually. On the educational side they all have individual educational uh, programmes so they work to uh, improve upon themselves rather than against any year group or cohort. Um, we really are inclusive in terms of the opportunities that we give all the children. This school is special to me because it's, it's small and we have lots of friends. Well, I like c that we've only got two classes and we've got more room t to move in the playground. Because there's nice teachers. I like how kind the teachers are and how much they help if you get really stuck. And they help you with um, um, your work by minute maths. Well, I like most about my school is how we have all this space and everything around us and all the, like, wildlife and space. You get lots of friends and there's not too many people so you can remember all their names and you, have lo you can play with lots of people in the playground. I like the space and you've got more room and there's lots of plants that and you take turns at gardening. We've planted some sweet peas and we've got beans and beetroot and we've planted some new trees. Our school grounds are wonderful. We've spent a lot of time and energy over the past two years investing in and improving those. And uh, the people I work with are wonderful, supportive, and uh, I couldn't hope for, for, for a better team. Janet Mitchell is a very experienced teacher. She's our head of uh, key, key Stage 1 and uh, Foundation Stage, which, uh, which, which, which means she looks after our reception pupils. Sue Williamson is our longest serving member of staff in, in, in school. Um, she's our TA in the infants, and uh, she works very closely with, with, with Janet Mitchell to create a welcoming atmosphere for all our infants. Um, she's particularly good when our uh, when our youngest ones start in September. It's not long before they uh, before they feel at home, and that's really down to uh, to her expertise. They have a they, they take a great deal of time and energy in uh, in having a, a delightful classroom with lots of opportunities for, uh, for for play for all the children in that classroom, not just our our youngest pupils. That's another advantage of a mixed age infant class. Um, all the opportunities that the younger ones get for independent, constructive, creative play are open to the, to the older pupils in there. And we take great advantage of that, particularly when, de uh, when delivering the science and maths as aspects of the curriculum. Julie Lewis is um, the latest teacher to join us. Um, she has a doctorate in classics, which is why we're able to uh, um, have a Latin club after, after school. I really like working in a class that has a, quite a wide age range of children and I think that gives real opportunities for, for the children to work together and it creates a real family atmosphere in the classroom so we've got younger children working alongside and learning from older children and I think that gives real opportunities for, for all of the children in the class. Janet is our coordinator for science um, we all work closely together to coordinate the subjects across across the year groups, and we all have an interest in each other's uh, each other's subject. Neil Southern is our TA in the junior classroom. Um, he was um, in 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 the army for many years, and so it's quite a change for him to come from that environment to work with us. Um, but he's rapidly become a very popular member of staff. Works closely with 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 the children. Um, and uh, is, is, it makes a valuable contribution to our school.
Cindy Halliday is our uh, specialist PE instructor. She's been working with us now for, for, for several years, delivering PE on a Tuesday afternoon. We feel that uh, Cindy's contribution to our school is, uh, is a very beneficial one. We have uh, classroom support in, in both classes, uh, full-time teaching assistant in, in the infants, which obviously helps us to mix and match the, 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 the children. And we have a part-time teaching assistant in the juniors, so we have support for the core subjects in the morning. And that really does help with differentiating. And we don't just differentiate across the year groups. We differentiate um, by age, by ability, and we do a lot of work with mixed grouping, uh, mixed age grouping, in order to encourage the, young, the younger pupils and help them realise that they can achieve uh, as much as, uh, as, as the older ones, in some cases more. <laughs> My favourite subject is maths and because it's um, because we have these mental maths and they're quite fun. Um, I think it's maths because I find it really easy and I'm quite good at it. We do like swimming and um, baking and gardening. Art because I'm not very really good at it and the teachers help me get better and they push me on. And I see tea. I'm good at it and I like helping other people. You help the teachers with ICT as well, don't you? Yeah. My favourite subject is science because you have to write down your results and think a lot. All our members of staff um, offer an after-school club and this, um, although there aren't many of us, it allows us to give a, a range. In the past we've had ICT and PE. Um, currently we have um, a Lego engineering club which is supported, um, crucially, by one, by one of our parents. Um, we have an art and crafts club and um, a drama club where we focus on the works of Shakespeare. And we also, fairly uniquely, I would have thought, have a Latin club. I go to Latin, drama and Lego club. My favourite has to be Latin club because it's another language which is really fun and we're doing a storyboard which we write in English and then we have to go on the internet and find a Latin dictionary and find out the words. My favourite two are Latin and Lego because in Latin you have to like, like you have to translate English to Latin and it's quite fun and you have to learn Latin words and everything. And Lego it's just fun because you just get bits and pieces and you build models and everything. Um, I go to art club and I really enjoy it because we get to do cards and cross stitch and Miss Mitchell who does it finds good things in books that we can do. Some parents do reading and my dad does Lego club. We have a very strong parent support group and we have a very strong team of parents who come in to, uh, to, to work with us. I mean, that's what they do. And we have crucial support from parents with our, with our garden and our small allotment in the corner of the uh, school grounds. We, we couldn't run that in the way in which we do without the support of our parents, both in terms of supporting us and raising money so that we can buy equipment for it and also actually coming in and, and, and helping us and working with, with the children. So I feel, again, that I'm privileged to have a very close relationship with, uh, with all the parents of the pupils of our school. I've come into school to read, uh, listen to the children read. I've read with the infants and I've read with the juniors. It's really good, it's lovely, and Helen and Matthew have both made some lovely friends here. It gives them a good start to their education. Some of our children come from a military background. Um, two members of our staff have strong have strong links with the with, with the military, both current and and in the past, and so we can empathise with their problems. We know what it's like to have um, dad or indeed mum posted away, and the problems that that can present at home. Yes, we um, first put our eldest son Cameron, who's in year five, into the school um, for reception. Um, on the recommendation of some friends that we knew through the military. Um, so we've been here now for six years and we've got twins who are now in year three. So we've, we've had a very close association with the school. I um, was a governor for several years um, and due to sort of changing my personal circumstances, I've now started coming in a little bit more and helping out and doing odd jobs and uh, helping with one of the after school clubs.
I do enjoy um, working with the children and seeing them get the pleasure out of um, the activities I can help them with. So, um, and having three children at the school, I do know most of the children sort of uh, quite well. Cameron is very much into drama, so there's a, a drama club which he enjoys doing. But um, of academic subjects, he certainly prefers maths to um, English. Kate. Uh, as a girl, enjoys everything, and uh, she even says she'd prefer to come to school than have the holidays, so I think she enjoys the lot. Um, and Tom, uh, he, he still enjoys coming to school, but I think he would like to be able to come to school and not do the work. <laughs> I think they um, enjoy the small size of it, the community, they've got some very good friends here. I think they um, enjoy being uh, fed a big fish in a small pond, perhaps. For us, what we value in the school is the community aspect of it that it's it's a small close-knit community all of the children get on um, and new children are, are welcomed in very well and it's very rare for children not to fit in um, the size of the classes of course is is akin to sort of public school so you're getting about 15 children in, in a class um, and the staff despite being a small school you've got a quite a wide range of staff we value the variety that they can get within such a small school. The school works really well. There's always a teacher in the playground on a morning so you can speak to um, whichever teacher's in the playground then. There's always the opportunity to speak to par the teachers after school um, and if there are any problems then they are brought up fairly quickly so that they can be dealt with before they get out of hand. There's very good communication with letters coming home in the school bags um, but the teachers are all very open, um, there's opportunities to speak to them in the playgrounds in the morning and after school um, and they're all very dedicated, I mean they put in the time and being a small school most people get aware of, of any slight issues that come up so most of them can be nipped in, in the bud. I think the size makes it special because it is such a small school, um, everyone looks out for everyone else. It really is the caring environment um, and that the children from all year groups mix with each other rather than just sticking into the same year groups. It, it is lovely when they mix from reception right up to year six. The individual children get the chance to, to get individual attention. Anybody that is struggling a little bit can get a bit of one-to-one. -one. As a governor and doing classroom visits, I've been very impressed how um, whilst the whole range is being taught, the individuals aren't being either left out, um, but there is the scope for the, the brighter children to be pushed on a little bit as well. We're a small team working in a small building, but we offer a, a, a wealth of opportunities to, uh, to anyone who comes to join us. So thank you.